and in Chennai, well, it was all about picking up the pieces, also getting power connections back, and more importantly for many residents, picking up the trees. And the people of Chennai were out today on the roads helping civic officials to get things back to normal. The most visible fallout of Cyclone Varada in Chennai, the fallen trees. An estimated 3,300 of them, uprooted with fallen branches blocking the roads. This is a situation on just one road of the city, which is reflected around the city as well. Of course, the after effects of Cyclone Varada that hit the city with fury on the evening of Monday. And that was one of the first issues being tackled in the city. Clearing operations on in Chennai. This is CIT colony where trees have been brought down like hundreds of trees across the city of Chennai. This area no different. Power and connectivity took a major hit in the city for over 24 hours from Monday. Here it's a card is not working okay. uh, for a network is not problem. So customers are all, uh, 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 cash is there. They are giving the 2,000, so we can't give the change. But Chennai moved on after the storm. The crowds were back at the memorial for late Chief Minister J.J. Lalita, whose recent death had already spread gloom. And despite fears of a repeat of last December's terrible flooding, most of the city saw no flooding. Cyclone Varada has come and gone, leaving people dead, leaving thousands of trees uprooted and fallen down, and things like power totally gone in many, many areas. It will take a long time for things to absolutely get back to normal in the city, which has borne the brunt of nature's fury. With Govind Murthy, Maya Sharma in Chennai for NDTV.